don't you know that we live in our father's house? I know that when I go to my father's house, I'm not just a parent, I'm a child. I know that in my father's house, I'm still working, but someone else is working. I know that in my father's house, someone besides me is watching over my kids. I can find rest when I go to my father's house. Let me ask you, whose house do you live in? But God has made the world. You live in your father's house. In your father's house, you are not the parent, you are the child. In your father's house, you are not the one who is holding things together. In your father's house, he is the one who is watching over you and your family. You can find rest in your father's house. Look, I I know that I've given a lot of different examples of what it means to be a parent, but I gotta think about others of you in the room, whether you're in high school and you're looking at the next stage of life. And so you're trying to get the best grades you can get so you can get into the best school you can get into so you can get the best degree that you can get so you can get out and get the best job and be the best person, the best spouse, and have the best life. And all of a sudden you think all your work is gonna end with you receiving rest. And I just gotta tell you, don't you know that your father is also working? Don't you know that you, you are, Martha, Martha, Jesus said, you are worried about many things, but one thing is necessary for you. Mary has chosen the greater portion and it will not be taken from her. Don't you know that there's a greater portion for you and that is to find the rest offered to you by your father? Man, that's why Jesus Christ said, come to me. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and you will find rest in your soul, for your souls. Don't you know that you are living in your father's house? 